Hey, what is up, YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. You guys already know what day it is today. It is Annie Monday, and today I'm going to be drawing a uh, upper half character, not a full body character like I've been doing. Going to keep it in the grayscale area, but other than that, let's jump right into it. So with this one is a little bit different. We're drawing a girl, kind of ditzy looking girl. I'm going to start off by drawing her head, big old circle looking egg thing. Then I draw my guidelines like I always do. Guidelines always helps out when it comes to my product placement. The products are her eyes, nose, and mouth and so it really helps out and then since I'm not gonna be drawing a full body like I usually do I'm not gonna use the triangle method but just my own style always the big potatoes on the sides for the shoulders and a straight line on top to show where the neckline is at and you know always for the breasts it's gonna be like either potatoes or basketballs or stuff just to show the form depending on what style brush you're gonna do my character is gonna be a bit more bodacious in the chest area so you already know what it is and I'm gonna give her some basic anime style eyes kind of like you know you know not not the cool come um, like shortcut eyes maybe just like the big ones and it looks really good when you do it that way depending on the character and I'm gonna give her some big hair and when it comes to drawing anime characters when it comes to hair it is okay to cover up a lot of the head as you see here when I start cleaning up parts of the body you see that I'm deleting parts of the headlines too because it's no longer needed because the hair is now blocking it as you see just right there and do not be afraid to have some of the hair droop down in the front depending if you're gonna be drawing spiky hair or if you're gonna be drawing what I'm drawing this particular one more uh, rounded off more curvy hair like if you were to think about lust from Fullmetal Alchemist then this hair would be kind of on par and while drawing this character it kind of reminded me of a character that I drew in the past and it looked really cool and so uh, you're gonna see a lot of similarities between that one and this one and it just I was like okay and it was just fun now one thing I cannot stress enough when you're drawing your character you can see me doing it in this video I'm taking a lot of small pauses when creating this character because it is key to actually look at your character and visualize before you just start killing it you know and so you can see me pausing here and there every so once in a while during the main creation process that I was doing that because I was just trying to make sure everything looked good and trying to make sure everything was on point wasn't too much or anything like that and uh, don't be afraid to experiment with your characters. Do not be afraid to do what I'm doing here. Instead of drawing a full body character, you don't have to draw a full body character. You can draw one from the belly button up and you can draw a really cool character. It's a very good method for practicing and a really good method at honing your skills at doing different types of things and angles and stuff. And with this character, I try making her a little bit different by you know, doing a different style of hair. Usually my hair, be honest uh, let me scratch that it kind of is always the same it's kind of more smooth instead of spiky usually it's always spiky if I'm doing fan art but when I'm doing my own stuff then it's more basic and more like fluffy I guess if you want to call it and if I were to talk about any issues I had while making this character um, to be honest I don't really have any um, it was very simple while making this and I guess if I were to say anything I might have struggled with maybe might have been with the glasses they look like they're like drooping a little bit they weren't solid or straight like they're supposed to be they look like they're kind of bent a little bit and maybe that could have been it um, you can see me drawing it a couple times when I'm going into the line art phase but other than that it was pretty straightforward I had a lot of fun making this image and it came out pretty nicely I, like I said earlier I decided to keep it in a grayscale right now I'm on a total grayscale bend when it comes to my artwork and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this image. It was very simple, not too hard, had some fun with it, and I really enjoyed the outcome of it when I did the colors and stuff in the grayscale. But uh, yeah, um, also wanted to address some things to some of my subscribers and commenters. Um, a few people had been really wanting me to do animation, and I've been trying with the uh, Blender for 2D animation, but it's not made for that type of animation they do say you can use it for it but it's not the best and so i am lacking software to do animation you can't really animate in illustrator because there's no timeline and so i'm not able to do that with key mapping and things like that so for those people who wanted me to do animation i am sorry i'm not able to do it until i get proper software um, i only have adobe illustrator and blender and a couple other programs that aren't animated related so yeah so i do apologize for that you guys but yeah that's pretty much the end of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed this you know what day it is today it is annie monday hopefully you guys enjoyed this hopefully this knowledge i've disp disposed onto you guys really helps y'all out but you know who it is it's your boy diamonds here at comments graphics rate comment subscribe slap that like button all that 
Your boy out.